Now let's go to Parliament because there was drama there today when the Chairman of Parliament's Communication Committee, Kennedy Ejapon, and a member of the committee, Sam George, nearly traded blows in a meeting to discuss the controversy surrounding the Digital Terrestrial Television DTT project. The altercation, which was said to have almost turned physical, occurred in a meeting with the representatives from the Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association, GIBA, and the Communications Committee in a bid to address concerns over the project. It is currently unclear what caused the meeting to end abruptly, but we're joined on the line by our parliamentary correspondent, Joseph Opoku Gakpo, with more. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Gisty. Break it down for us. Help us unpack. So today, the um, executives of Giba were in Parliament. They have sent a petition to MP asking that the Communications Committee uh, help them intervene in the processes leading to the digital migration platform being rolled out, mm. and that they have concerns about having fair and fair treatment that has been meted out to them, and so they wanted the committee's intervention. Um, today, the Giba executives met with the Communications Committee chaired by Kennedy of Japan mm -hmm. and uh, other minority MPs were also present. Earlier, there were a bit of disagreements at the beginning of the meeting, which both Kennedy of Japan and Samuel George Benning, who from Prime MP, are indicating that things with the girls. And from uh, what the explanation we're getting, Kennedy of Japan says, after a meeting that they had two days ago at the level of the committee, there was a decision that no one should comment further on the issues having to do with the DDT. Okay. But um, he heard Samuel George on radio yesterday and speaking at a program, so commenting on the issues. And so this morning, even before they met the Giba executive, he raised that. And in the course of that conversation, tempest fled. Um, there were interaction just between the two of them. And eventually, the committee had to suspend sitting and resume something about uh, you know 30 minutes later to continue the deliberations. Eventually, they met with the members of Giba. And in the words of Kennedy Japan, when he addressed the media after the meeting, he says the communication minister, um, Ursula Wusu, is responsible for all the confusion that's arising and that he had kept parliament and other major stakeholders in the dark. Uh, so who, 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 said this? who said this, Joseph? Kennedy Japan, who okay. is the NDP MP for Assent Central okay. and also um, chairman of Parliament Communications Committee. He says from everything that they've heard from, uh, Geba today, uh, they are coming to the conclusion that all the confusion with relation to this deal is arising as a result of um, the, the, the communications minister's decision to keep uh, the committee and other stakeholders in the dark on the major issues relating to the deal. So he confirmed that they've decided that they are going to invite the minister to appear before them to respond to all the questions mm -hmm. rather than going for a little seek to address the concerns that Geba has. Okay, I believe as we speak, everything is calm in, in Parliament? Uh, yes, so the committee eventually finished the meeting about an hour and a half ago, after which both um, Kennedy at Japan and Samuel George addressed the media and indicated that there are two people who have a lot of interest in the um, communications industry. Some George made the point that um, Kennedy at Japan himself is a member of GEBA, mm -hmm. Samuel George, is someone who has constituents who actually uh, work with the various media organizations. And to so them, at the level of the Communications Committee in Parliament, they'll be pushing to ensure that the deal that comes up eventually is something that will be in the interest of Ghanaians generally. And they hope to get the issues addressed um, at the right time when they invite the minister to appear before them. I said that they didn't give a specific timeline on when we can expect the minister to appear but they indicate that there are a lot of questions that you need to respond to, which will get her to come respond. And, and, and I'm wondering, Joseph, what was the response of the other members on the committee to this brawl that happened in Parliament today? Uh, um, Rat Mubarak, who is also a member of the committee, um, explains that this is something that he found quite embarrassing as it's the issue that led to the eventual suspension of the meeting. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the clarification we're getting that it wasn't uh, so much of um, a brawl has been uh, losing exchange, but then uh, it got to the extent that the argument got so heated that um, the committee members had to restrain the two individuals, Kennedy Japan and Sam George, and um, the, uh, the, you know, which even led to the suspension of the meeting in question okay. uh, for it to resume later. And the two of them explained, even when they interacted with the press, that they sorted out the issues, they are committed to 
ensuring the interests of Ghana. Um, all the concerns have been addressed, and so now they are focusing on addressing the real issues, which are the concerns okay. that the uh, GIPA members are raising. But Brad okay. Brad, for example, describes this as an embarrassment, and in his words, this is not something that should be happening in Parliament. But mm. the two of them are here to have part up, and they resolve the concerns that they have. Very well. Joseph, is there anything else happening in Parliament that we should know of? And so today in Parliament, there was a statement from Munta Kamubarak, who is a member of Parliament for the Aswati constituency, and it has to do with, if you recall, the killing of some of his constituents, about seven of them somewhere mm -hmm. in the Ashanti region, over suspicion that they were armed robbers. He uh, made a statement and made a call that it's about time that government made public the report of the committee that investigated that particular issue and that he felt that the sure way to help um, calm tempest and ensure that going forward some of these things don't resume. He got a response from the Interior Minister Ambrose Derry, who said that the regional minister in Ashanti has forwarded the set report to the president and that they are setting it as a presidency to take the necessary action. And after that, the report will be made public. That has been the major issue. And then uh, there was uh, a tribute to one of the very, uh, you know, statement who, are, who, who passed on recently, and currently the House is on break. The Finance Committee is meeting over some of the loan agreements that have been brought to the House for okay. approval, and then when they are done, they will bring their report to the floor, uh, and then the House will resume from its break uh, to continue considering those deals for approval. Joseph Gakpo, the uh, Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph. Now, we understand that there's a, there's a meeting ongoing at the Communications Ministry at the moment. Ebenezer Sabote of Joy Business is there for us. He joins me on the line. Joseph, um, Ebenezer, what can you report? Okay, Gifty, I can report that just about an hour ago the meeting started. But before the meeting would start, the Deputy Minister for Communications, George Anda, asked that the media excuse them. So as I speak with you, the media is not in the meeting, but the stakeholders are meeting with the ministry in there. Okay. Who and who are in this meeting? So the National Communications, the, I mean the National Communications Authority is in there. The National Media Commission is being represented there. Giba is also represented there. I saw Chief Prince Krista a while ago. The Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, GBC, and then Ghana Film Producers are also there. And some other stakeholders in there. Okay. So we're expected to have some response after this meeting behind closed doors? Yes, the Deputy Minister actually assured us that there will be a briefing after okay. the closed door meeting. So we All are right. just awaiting for them. When they are done, then they will be fast. Thank you very much, Ebenezer Sabote. Mm -hmm. There, we joy business. Okay.